Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing another wig from my fall lookbook. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll definitely include it in the cards up above and in the end screen. Basically, I featured four wigs sponsored by this new black-owned company called The Wig City. I will leave their information in the description box, so definitely check out their website and see what they have in stock. So a lot of you really liked this wig when you saw it in the lookbook. So I was like, you know what, let me review this too. This wig is by Outre and her name is Kimbra. Kimbra is part of the Daily Wig Collection. Outre came out with a slew of wigs that basically claim you can wear on the Daily. I have reviewed two other wigs from the Daily Wig Collection. I reviewed Ophelia and I reviewed Lenore. I'll link those in the description box as well. Check out those videos because I love those units. They're nice yaki texture too. And I think a lot of you would like those units too because they are definitely daily wigs. So let's get into the specs of Kimbra. Kimbra comes with your standard cap construction, two combs in the front, comb in the back, an adjustable strap. And it does come with a thick black strap, which I think comes with most of the wigs in the daily collection. It came in Ophelia and a Lenore, so I think that's just a thing. And the black strap, I assume, is to help make the wig lay flatter on your head. This is not a lace frontal unit, it's a lace part, so there was no lace to cut. It came pretty much like this, and I just put it on my head. There was a slight line of demarcation, so I did cut a little V into it before putting it on. So let's get into the pros of Kimbra. The first pro would be the style. I think the style is super, super cute. At first, I wasn't really feeling this bang area because it kept going like this and i'm like why are you doing your own thing stay like this but i think it's cute i think the curls are nice and i think it frames my face oh there it goes again i think it frames my face really well the second pro to kimbra is the length this is the perfect everyday length falls on me uh, maybe like about 16 inches, 14, 16 inches. Let me give you a quick 360 of the wig. I think the length is perfect for everyday wear. Me personally, I just love when wigs stop around this area, like right at the top of my bust. Another pro to this wig is the parting area. I think it came, it came pretty nice. Other than that line of demarcation, I wasn't feeling it's a quick, easy fix if you cut a V into the part. I did show in my last video how to cut a V in the part, so I'll link that in the cards up above. Now, as cute as this looks on me, and I think a lot of you do like it on me, I did have my cons to this wig. The first con, y'all, is the texture. It's like, feels like baby doll hair. Like, it's very obvious to me when I touch it that it's synthetic. I don't like that. It is a silky texture, which normally I don't mind silky texture wigs when they are like a curly kind of pattern. Normally it's bearable for me, but uh, every time I put my fingers through it, it's, I'm like, okay. Oh, it's cute. Oh, mm. I don't know. The texture throws me off and texture is really important to me when I purchase wigs. Another con to this unit is the shedding. I've been wearing synthetic wigs a long time, so I'm very familiar with how synthetic wigs work. So I know that they shed, but to me, this is just excessive. I've worn this wig one time for maybe like six hours. Other than that, it just went straight back in the back. But the shedding, it's like every time I put my fingers through this hair, look at the shedding I'm getting. Can, can y'all see all the hairs here that I'm getting just from like, I'm gonna do it again. Why are all of these hairs coming out the wig? Some of my favorite synthetic wigs do not shed like this, y'all. It looks like I tweezed apart. Hello? Outre, hello? Why is there so much shedding? That has been a huge turnoff for me. And I'm not that picky normally when it comes to shedding. I'm like, oh, whatever, especially when I really like the wig. But. I don't even like this wig like that and you're shedding out the ass, like come on now. <sighs> so that's a con for me. The texture and the shedding, I'm not feeling, y'all. And the thing is, this style is so cute. And for the price, it's like, okay, you know, you could say that you get what you pay for when you're paying like $25 and under. But 
I've had wigs in a similar style that did not shed like this. Valentino, $20, did not shed like this on me. It just didn't, and I had it in a blonde color. I don't know. I, Kimber's cute, but she's just like, right. like I'm not, not pressed to purchase her again. I think for the price, she'd be good for like an event or two. Just know that she does shed quite a bit. She will tangle at the ends because this texture is, like I said, similar to baby doll hair to me. And we already know how I feel about this hairline. You don't like this, okay? Saw this on Ophelia and I love Ophelia, so I let it pass when I saw that she had that hairline. But Kimber doesn't get a pass, no. She don't get a pass with this type of shedding and this kind of hairline, no. Mm -mm. So yeah, let me know what you think about Kimber in the comments down below. Initially, I'm sure upon seeing her in the lookbook, you may have liked her. But let me know what you think now that you've seen my review. Would you purchase her? Do you feel like the cons are still tolerable enough to buy her? Let me know. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for everyone who's been rocking with me so far. It means a whole lot to me. If you want to see more of my content, some of my recent videos, I put out like six videos in the past two weeks. I've been trying to do three videos a week. But yeah, if you want to see some of my past content, check it out over here on the right side of me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.